We're going to start moving through our list of children for the user's component. The first one we'll deal with is the user list component. We'll go and uncomment this out and uncomment that part out. Our app will not work right now since this is not defined. We'll do that now. Under user list, user list.component.ts, and a new file for user list.component.html. Now that we have created a brand new component, we need to register it in app module. Now the fun thing about the user list component is that we've already done the bulk of the work in the app component. All we're doing in user list is hitting that API slash users call to get all of the users and then we're displaying all of those users. For repetition and for learning, we're going to go ahead and recreate all of that inside of user list component. If you want to go ahead and copy all that from app component over to here, you can totally do that, but we'll do this for learning experience. We'll do import. We need the user service first. We'll go back one, back two, shared services user dot service. We also need the user model. This user list component is going to have a list of users, which is going to be an array of that user class. Users is user array. Our constructor is going to need that service, so we'll do private service user service. In ng on init, this is where we'll go ahead and grab all of those users. So we'll say this.http. Oh. We're going to say this.service.getusers, plural, and we will subscribe to that. We'll have data. We'll have users and this dot users is equal to users that's all we need for this component we are going to go ahead grab all that information get our users assign it to the users array and the last thing we need to do is show those users in the user list component html we'll do div ng if users and the reason we do that and we've done that earlier in this course is that once this component gets activated, we don't have users just yet. After the component gets activated on init, we're going to go ahead and go grab those users. So this will actually throw an error if we don't have this ng if users. Above this though, we're going to add a jumbotron, which is just going to be a nice title dot text center. And we'll have an h1 in here for users. And then inside of here, this is where we'll loop over that users array. Let's actually give this a class. We'll do class equals user list. We're going to use the bootstrap grid. So we'll also add a row here. And then we're going to give each of these users a third of the row. To do that, we'll do div class column small four because it takes up four columns out of the bootstrap 12, and that will give us three equal columns. And we'll loop over using structural directive ng4. Let user of users. Let's give this a class for div class user dash card text center. We'll do an image where we bind the source to the user.avatar. Since we have that from our API, we'll also use class user avatar and we'll use a bootstrap class called image rounded to get some rounded corners. We'll also do an h2. We'll bind user dot 
first name space user dot last name. That should be good enough to show our users. And notice that we are getting the same exact thing from earlier. None of the work that we just did on the user list is actually showing anywhere. This is a really simple fix. And the reason for this is if we go look at app routing again, we didn't use user list component. So we'll bring that in now. And there's an error there. We need that comma. The reason that none of our information showing, uh, aside from that error there, is that we have user list component, and it's a children of this component here, users component. Now, children also need a router outlet to display. All of this is getting pushed to that app component router outlet. All of this needs to get another router outlet, though. So we'll go into users component HTML. I am the users component, and we will do router outlet. Now all of those children routes have a place to live. All right, so now we're seeing our application, George Lucille Oscar, I'm the user's component, and the app lives. In the next lesson, we'll clean up the app component so all of this stuff kind of goes away. And now down here is what we really want. We have our users, Jumbotron that we created, and we have our three users, George Bluth, Lucille Bluth, and Oscar Bluth, which all comes from our API. We also have their avatars and rounded corners thanks to those bootstrap classes. Let's clean up our app component now. We'll go into app component.ts since we didn't break it out into an HTML file. All we really want is a header. Let's delete that. And let's get ourselves a bootstrap style navigation header. We'll say div class container. And that will encompass everything. And here's our header div class navbar, navbar default, which will get it a white background. You can use navbar inverse to get you a black background. Div class container fluid. Div class navbar header. Inside of that, we'll have an a tag. href is blank for now. Class navbar brand. And we're using the Angular router, so we'll use router link, and that will go to the home page. Class is navbar brand. And let's just call this my app, my HTTP app. Now we can give our menu some links. We'll do ul class navbar navbar nav. li a is router link and this is going to go to the users page and this will be users let's give that a shot all right this is showing our wrong class for some reason but we also have everything that we need we have our navigation bar here i'm the users component users and our user list component here let's figure out what's going on with this class and right now we are seeing UL class navbar navbar nav. That's actually nav navbar nav. Let's take a look. All right, looking good. Now you may be wondering how I knew all of that bootstrap class for the navbar. We can take a quick trip to getbootstrap.com under components, all the way down to navbar on the right side. And if you scroll down, this is our code to build out this navbar. Now really, all of this is just memory from having to go here so many times and type all this out, but you can really get the gist of it by viewing a lot of these different components that you can use thanks to Bootstrap. One last thing I'd like to do is go over to userscomponent.html and delete this I am the users component section. We'll be using this users component a little bit more in a future lesson, but right now all we're going to do here is router outlet and our application is going to be exactly how we want it. 
That is enough to list all the users, and that is going to be the read section of our CRUD style HTTP app. We'll start moving through the rest of our app in the next lessons.